Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. You know, I could get really fancy with these videos and I'm learning how to do a lot of things, but I think you just care about the message, don't you? Sitting in my dining room with me and with my little Buddha heads and having people make comments about them. It's, it's art, okay? Um, all right, so today I'm going to talk about how to know if you're expanding. What does that mean? How to know if you're expanding your consciousness in the right direction. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, if you're expanding, it's the right direction. All right? If you're not expanding, you're in here. What's in here? The ego, the little me, the density of the body, the density of this planet, the density of the energy that comes with this body and the DNA and everything we've picked up along the way. What is expansion? Expansion is when you put yourself out there, no matter what, you are expanding. So putting yourself out there means not being afraid of whatever the universe is going to bring you. See, a lot of people, they're afraid to expand because they think they're protecting their world, but they're not happy in that world. Are you? I'll bet you probably 99.9% .9 of the people watching these videos are not 100% happy with their life. They want to change something. We all do. You know why? Because this planet is not on the frequency that it could be. But we're getting there. And that's what the expansion's about. The expansion is, are you putting yourself out there, doing different things, thinking different, making the effort to improve everything you do in your life, from your thoughts to your beliefs to opening yourself up to new things? Are you doing that? Are you getting uncomfortable? See, a lot of people think that's intuition. Oh, my intuition told me not to do that. No, your fear told you not to do that. What would happen if you went and tried something that might be a little bit strange, but you know that, well, the worst case scenario is you learn something. A lot of people don't even get in relationships because they've been burnt before and they think that this is not going to be a pleasant experience ever again for them. How would you know? What if you get burnt five more times and number six is just your ideal person? Sorry, but that's how inventors work. You know, how many times, hundreds and thousands of experiments do they do before they get it right? They never stop because they know that probability exists. And when you're expanding, you're okay with the challenges along the way to secure that probability. What are the challenges along the way? The changes you need to make to manifest that thing you want. So along the way, the universe is saying, okay, we're going to get give you this. Of course you want this because that's the message you're sending. So it's mimicking exactly what you're thinking. But if you have other blocks or things going on, it's going to take you on a path to clear those up to give you that thing. So it's in, it hasn't made a mistake. Oh, why isn't it coming? Because you're getting the lessons you need to learn to get to that total manifestation. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, okay, so I want this thing and it looks like I'm not getting it, when in actuality, I feel very secure about the thing. Why is it not showing up? Because the things that are happening along the way that appear to be blocking it are really unblocking it. Don't be afraid of those. But people, they stay in here. I'll stay in that job and that relationship and that whatever it is. Don't leave the city. I hate, I, you know, I hate shoveling snow, but I, I moved from Michigan down to Atlanta. I never liked the snow. I've never liked the snow. Snow is something I want to see on, you know, Chamonix in France. Yeah, it's not something that I desire. I never felt good about it, but so many people stay in their environment because it's what they know. They're secure. They have friends there. They have family there, and they won't move. Guess what? I have people that visit me here in Atlanta because it's in the 70s right now and they're shoveling snow up in Michigan. So can you look at everything as an advantage and that you have to stop worrying about other people's thoughts and judgment or beliefs to expand? Because they're going to confine you based on what they're doing in their lives and it's probably not expansion. They're usually in a dense place. I guarantee you that because if somebody's trying to restrict you, it's because they themselves are not doing what they want to. That's just how it works. Right? Otherwise, they wouldn't judge you. They'd encourage you unless you want to drop off a, you know, 
uh, jump off of a two-story um, building. But what if you jumped off and you had a parachute on? Or whatever is that, what is that, um, those chutes that they, this crazy uh, jumping they do off of buildings? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. But guess what? What if you do it and you get scuffed up a little bit? You know, I'm just comparing. What if you go out there and you get your heart broken? What if you get out there and that job didn't work out, but it expanded you into where you're supposed to be? That is key, and we miss that. We think there's supposed to be this open, clear path, and nothing's going to happen along the way, and we're not understanding that things along the way are unblocking you from that final destination, which is never final. I guarantee you, every time I hit a goal, there's another one I want to make because I keep raising the bar. Because I realize, well, I could have set the bar up here in the first place, right? But we don't. We don't believe that we have that capabilities, those, that capacity that is unlimited. We don't believe that we can go from here to here. So the universe will take you on your journey so that you know that you can go there. And you slowly maybe have to make your way up to believe it, to know that it's true. And pretty soon you look back and you think, oh my gosh, last year I was thinking it was a big deal to make six figures. This year makes seven figures. I didn't even think about that because you limited yourself. I'm not talking about the lottery. So uh, I had some questions. By the way, if you saw my video that said proof that the planet's uh, raising its frequency, and it ended on 11-11. I didn't do that on purpose. Take a look at it. It ends on 11-11. If that isn't the universe confirming what I said in that video about signs and proof that we're raising the frequency, it verified that that was absolutely true. That's what's happening. You're manifesting like crazy. Let go of the fears. Don't be afraid to let go of the stuff that isn't working. Don't be afraid to go into new turf and keep trying new things. You can talk yourself out of anything. We all do it. Oh, I can't handle that, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not blah, 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 blah. How do you know? Go expand. And if you're not uncomfortable, then you're not expanding. If you're not meeting some challenges, you're not expanding. You can't be a gold medal winner on skiing or snowboarding or anything else until you have bruised up yourself, scuffed up, maybe even broken a few things. Those people get back on those boards and those skis because they know that that probability exists out there that is the gold medal. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the Olympics. People would quit as soon as they fell down or they weren't fast enough or broke a rib. Don't let that be you. They use that as a journey, part of their growth, part of their triumph. It's unblocking the way until they get that perfect twist landing. You can do it. Don't be afraid of this. And welcome it. Embrace it. In fact, when you embrace challenges, you're going, yay, there's one block removed if you master it. If you fight it and you say, this shouldn't be happening not to me. You're not getting it. You're going to get it again and again until you get it, right? The lesson. You're expanding unless you're staying in that house and doing the same things over and over, not changing anything. So go, do, be okay with being uncomfortable. Go out there and be everything you possibly can. And if that doesn't work, be the next thing that you can be, and the next, and the next, and the next. And the universe is going to continue to flow. The opportunities are going to hit you. By the way, super crazy stuff going on right now. 2018, man, I told you, this is like, whoa. So we'll talk about that in the next video. You're whole and perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. This all exists for you. That's from the Master Key System. That's why I use that. It has healed people and changed people's lives. It can Changers too. Anything's possible. You just got to know it. Believe it. Claim it. Namaste.